all right let's get started so the first thing that I do on this picture is the retouching so let me show you what I have done over here so the first thing that I have done here is the frequency separation if you don't know how to use a uh, retouching or frequency separation you can check on my other video I have the breakdown how to do like a retouching step by step let me just show you a little quick over here so this is frequency separation this is local doesn't burn and some cleanup again local and then global just add some depth to the image all right and next thing I do over here is the color grading and adding the element like from the foreground so this before and after so let me break it down what I have done over here alright so the first thing I have to do here is a skin tone color there's nothing crazy changed over here as you can see it really stop of changing and the second thing is the added foreground elements I got this picture from Google actually you can just download it the first on Google like flower and just take it from there and I just put it on and change the blend mode to multiple because you know this is the number one so when you change to multiple it's just going to make like the background elements like all the black color gone basically so next thing you do over here is the color grading on the flowers and a bit of the background over there and move on to the color of the background changing and this one I add some depth with the curve as you can see we do some bit of curve over here in this one I use the curve tool with the blue channel and as you can see if you I lift up the highlight part over here just a little bit and it just you know like mark the on the shadow part so whatever I do on top right here it's not going to change anything on the shadow part alright so move on to the next thing I have some like a facial brighten I use curve again I'm a big fan of curve honestly and again we darken the hair with the curve too again with the layer mask of course and then they add some uh, warm tone over here to make like, the first skin tone is more like a uh, natural and then I darken the left side a little bit this one I use a camera filter now you can go to camera over here and then you click right over here and click on the radial gradient and then you can just select like the radial gradients or the brush tool doesn't matter and then just cover over here and then you can just use the curve tool to just you know lift it up or down to brighten or darken it and on this one I used I change a bit of the color of the clothes because I feel like I just need to get some kind of red and warm I use a hue saturation with the layer mask over there and then the color balance just to balance all the color of the image and then we changing the color of the background again and then let's clean up some like you know the closed area to make it look more cleaner and this is what I have done overall in the color grading and element edit as before and after all right so now let's come to fixing and cleaning because you can see I have a kind of fixing and cleaning things over here all right so let's start step by step so the first thing that I start here I add some blur you might not be able to see like anything in the blur here because as you can see I put the opacity in here very like, really, really low if I increase it as you can see so you're gonna see some blur over there but I just want to keep it low and soft like just nine percent to get like the attention to the model even more so we just keep on that point and now we added some of the elements from the left side so of course basically I just flip the image from the right side to the left side you can do that by just go to the edit over here and then go to transform and flip the horizontal as you can see when I disable the layer mask over here this is when you flip the image and if you go 100% you will see the image is completely flipped to the left side you just flip like the horizontal basically you can also flip the vertical too but we don't want to do that so I just flip the image to the left side and then just add the layer mask 
So we, you see, it's just gonna add some elements over here, and I don't want to get like the one hundred percent opacity because that doesn't make any sense. So we just get it low, and then we're gonna do some cleaning and you know adding some depth so make it look more realistic like before. All right, move on to add some depth in the image, and then I was like, let's change the tone to the warm tone. And then I do some background cleanup right over here because I feel like it just distracted for me. And then we do some dots and burn on her face. And the eye whitening. And we pop in the eye over here. I use the curve too again. Just slip up like you know some of the poi over here. And then on the shadow, contrast, and then you just mask it and just start painting over there. And then the face brightening, just kind of brighten the face to make it look more like take the focus on the model basically. Alright, so this is what we have done so far in the fixing and cleaning. Now let's move on to the finalization. This is before, sorry, this is before and after. So let's break it down step by step. So the first thing that I have done here is to change the tone of the background. So basically I use sexy color, you just can go to the blue channel, it's no, I go to the cyan channel, just leave the yellow to the left side because if you left to the right side it's a yellow and the opposite of the yellow is the blue. So if you left over here you see it's going to add some blue to the image. And then I feel like the high color it looks so weird over here, like it's so yellow. It's not like really go with the background color, so I changed the hair colors to some kind of brownness, like brunette basically. And then we start traveling the image. Oh, by the way, I use hue saturation to do that. You can just go to yellow channel, flip it to the left a little bit, and then just desaturate it, and then you're gonna get on that. And of course, with the mask. And then we just traveling the image, and the skin tone again changing. I use the a channel mixer over here to change the skin tone go to blue channel right over here and start like shifting the red to the left and start shifting the green to the right and then just add the, the layer mask so that it's just going to add some cool tone to the image and now we go to the sharpening and now I just extended the background and I feel like the hair on the left side over here it's kind of too much highlighted so I added some shadow to get some depth to the image this one I don't know what I have done here honestly alright anyway so let's move on to liquefy I just liquefy a bit of the hair over here and I feel like her proportion of this side is look kind of slouch so I just fix this over here alright so you see before and after in the finalization and the last thing that I do here is the highlight on the nose over here. I feel like it's just too much. I want to get some detail. So it's just dropping the highlight over there with the curve too again. So this is overall what I have done on this image. So let me show you before and after. This is before and after. Alright, thank you for watching guys.